give me Jesus In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise Oh, give me Jesus. Jesus. Oh, give me Jesus. You can't have all this world. Give me Jesus. When I am alone, oh, when I am alone, when I am alone, give me Jesus, give me Jesus, oh, give me Jesus.
is all I need. Yeah. Yeah. We worship you. We worship you. Say we worship you, Lord. You're the answer to my prayers. You're the calm in the storm. You're my rest and my refuge. Yeah, yeah.
If you give a little more than you take And if you try to fix more than you break If you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain There's a place for people like you If you stand up for those down on their knees And lend a voice to those who cannot speak If you shine a little light, give sight to the ones who've lost their way There's a place for people like you I've heard up there the streets are made of gold And when you get there, there's a hand to hold When your day's down here or through There's a place up there for people like you If you walk around with your heart on your sleeve And if you're trying to be the change you want to see If you lay down your life for a love so someone could be saved a place for people like you. I've heard up there the streets are made of gold. And when you get there, there's a hand to hold. I believe when your day's down here or through, there's a place up there.
Death leaves a headache on one no one can heal. Love leaves a memory no one can steal. Two halves of the same soul journeyed together in life's journey. Julian Wilson, Elmina Alfred were joined in holy matrimony at the resident in Rabin Macock. In Ravin Macock, 18th January 1966. They were married for 75 years. They both passed away at their residence, and today they live together as one. Um, Bamwe Bawati Blagakoyol Abanukumase. Um, Elmina nous connaît li, nous le kakouye yi tikok. Et tikok nous le kakouye yi, il toujours dit moins en main et rikoui. Il toujours dit moins en main et rikoui. Mais il a dit moins en main et rikoui. Mais il a dit moins chaque l'heure me dit ça, et il a dit moins en main et rikoui. Il a dit moins en main et rikoui. Il a dit chaque l'heure me dit ça, et il a dit moins en main et rikoui. 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 Il a dit comme ça, mettez le corps en guerre. Il a chanté, il a chanté ça là. Mettez le corps en guerre, mais la carvini. Ça, c'était parole Elmina. So, ça, de pas, je vais oublier ça, parce que comme on a toujours dit, ça, c'était parole lui. Moi, en même temps, oui, moi, il tombait malade, Marie a tombé malade. Les gens ont mangé, il a demandé, est-ce que Marie, est-ce que Eric a eu de manger So, ça, c'est les deux mouns qui tenaient l'amitié ensemble. Nous matin la tenue différente parmi eux, mais ils ont été en mélote. En mariage, ils ont dit comme ça. Nous sommes mariés juste à l'amour. Et ça, c'est vraiment juste à l'amour. Dès ça, la mariée, et ils ont tous les deux morts, et ils sont partis ensemble. La panne, ils ont été quittés l'autre en pièce qu'elle a misé et à ce compte personne. That was the love at Holy Matrimony. Thank you very much. So the pole bearers, can you please find yourself at the door as we are about to start our funerals? The family members, please go by the door. Um, you don't say that I'm going to wifi to the people who are going to die. And the people who are going to die, they are going to die. Or in the church, they are going to die. 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 People, stop that, please. Stop it. We can't hear. I don't understand. Stop it. You're in church. Thank you. C'est bon, là, fait des ordres souplés. Là, fait des ordres.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I bless the body of Jules and Elmina with the holy water that recalls a baptism, of, of which she called their baptism, of which St. Paul writes, all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. By baptism into his death, we were buried together with him so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him, by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. On the day of their baptism, Jules and Elmina put on Christ. In the day of Christ's coming, may they be clothed with glory. We now join in singing, Just As I Am. Oh, 
Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son who died on the cross was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servants, Jules and Elmina, who have gone to their rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We now listen to our readings. reading from the book of Job. Job said, Ah, would that these words of mine were written down, inscribed on some monument. Okay. With iron chisel and engraving tool cut into the rock forever. This I know that my avenger lives, and he, the last, will take his stand on earth. After my awakening, he will set me close to him, and from my flesh I shall look on God. He whom I shall see will take my part. These eyes will gaze on him and find him not aloof. This is the word of the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. Oh. 
Listen to our second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Having died to make us righteous, is it likely that he would now fail, fail to save us from God's anger? Hope is not deceptive because the love of God has poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which has now been given us. We were helpless when at his appointed moment, Christ died for sinful men. It is not easy to die even for a good man. Though, of course, for someone really worthy, a man might be prepared to die. But for what proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. Having died to make us righteous, is it likely that he would now fail to make us, to save us, sorry, to save us from God's anger? When we reconciled to God by the death of his son, we were still enemies. Now that we have been reconciled, surely we may count on being saved by the life of his son? Not merely because we have been reconciled, but because we are filed. Because we are filled with joyful trust in God. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, through who whom we have already gained our reconciliation. This is the word of the Lord. that he gave his only son. Everyone who believes in him 
has eternal life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Mary, the sister of Lazarus, went to Jesus. As soon as she saw him, she threw herself at his feet, saying, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. At the sight of her tears and those of the Jews who followed her, Jesus said in distress, with a sigh that came straight from the heart, Where have you put him? They said, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. And the Jews said, See how much he loved him. But there were some who remarked, you opened the eyes of the blind man. Could he not have prevented this man's death? Still sighing, Jesus reached the tomb. It was a cave with a stone to close the opening. Jesus said, Take the stone away. Martha said to him, Lord, by now he will smell. This is the fourth day. Jesus replied, Have I not told you that I, that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing my prayer. I knew indeed that you always hear me. But I speak for the sake of all these who stand round me, so they may believe it was you who sent me. When he had said this, he cried in a loud voice, Lazarus, here, come out. The dead man came out, his feet and hands bound with bands of stuff and a cloth round his face. Jesus said to them, Unbind him. Let him go free. Many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what he did believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. On behalf of Juan Sine Michel, I would like to extend our condolences to the family and friends of the deceased. This is the first time I'm having such an experience where I have a funeral of two people, and even more so, a husband and a wife. I've heard of it happening before, but this is my, my very first. And I can't imagine the, the, the shock and the pain that the family, especially the children, are in to be experiencing that right now. One is too much, fallus two. Fallus two. And so, while we would like to, to get rid of the pain, while we would like to have things done differently, 
we must take into consideration the fact that there is someone who has experienced our pain, someone who has experienced the grief that you're going through, someone who, ex who, is ex who has experienced the doubt, the many questions that you may have had and those that are still going through your minds right now. And that person is Jesus. In our gospel passage today, we see the humanity of Jesus coming out in a very powerful way. And that humanity comes out through tears. Jesus wept because of the death of his friend. And Jesus didn't weep for weeping's sake. Jesus wept because of the pain that he experienced at that point in time. And so, if Jesus himself went through the pain and suffering of loss, of grief, as a result of, a, of, a, of a, the death of a loved one, we can be certain that we are not making, making this journey alone. And he's, very, he's, he's there with us very much at this point, consoling us, comforting us, holding our hands. We can never be prepared for, for death. No matter how much we try to prepare ourselves, the moment of death is always painful. Always painful. Sometimes we may cry out aloud, but sometimes the cry is a silent cry of the heart. Sometimes the cry is a, takes the form of trying to make sense of all of this. Perhaps in your case it is, why both of them at the same time? Why? But God's ways are not our ways. We don't always understand how God works. But we have to trust that God always knows what he's doing. In the case of Lazarus, when Jesus was told of the death of Lazarus, of, sorry, the illness of Lazarus, he did not move right away. He stayed where he was. Lazarus died. And then he, when he got there, it was already four days. Now the faith of Mary and Martha, and even those who knew Jesus, is that Jesus could have prevented this death. And probably that could have been our faith as well that this could have been prevented. But there is something very important that Jesus responded to all of that. Have I not told you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? There is always something to learn from any experience in life always something. And in this case, they misunderstood Jesus because they did not understand what Jesus was about to do. 
and they did not understand what Jesus was about to do because it was a very unusual thing for them. Even when Jesus told them to take away the stone, they reacted to that because it was four days. And the response of Martha to Jesus, Lord, by now he will spell this is the fourth day, means that any hope of the resurrection would have passed already. Because according to Jewish theology, the soul leaves the body on the third day. And once the soul leaves the body, that is when the decay takes place. That was the faith of the Jews. So they knew that being the fourth day, that Lazarus would have been decayed already. The body would have begun to decompose. And because the body had begun to decompose, any hope of he coming back to life mortally would have been passed. If it was the first day or the second day, that would possibly happen, but not on the fourth day. But the power of God does not lie in what we believe. God's power does not reside just in what we believe. It goes way beyond that. And Jesus pointed that out to them and showed them that. That there is something to learn even from that. You will see the glory of God coming out of that. And Lazarus was called back to life by Jesus. Came out still bound as he was prepared for burial. The lesson here is that all things are possible with God. But perhaps the possibility here is not that our brother and sister might come back to life now. But there might be a greater message for us in that. In this experience of a double funeral. And perhaps the message is Are we ready? Are we prepared? If God had to call us home tonight, would we be ready? I did not know. I mean, um, very well, but I knew Mr. Jules, and the image that comes to mind all the time. Is that man always carrying the cross on first Sunday for Holy, during the Holy Name procession, Holy Name leading the procession, always there, never missed, a, missed carrying that, 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 sorry, not the cross, the banner, the banner. He was some, someone who was always at Mass until he was, he, was, he was stopped from coming to church. He was always there, always there. We can't play judge and say whether he's ready or not. What about us? What about us? They lived a ripe old age. But look at what is happening today among us. Sorry, around us. Look at how the whole homicide issue has taken a different turn where the relatives of those that they're looking for become the target. Mothers and fathers are being killed because of the children. This is foreign to us, yet still it seems to become in part of our culture now. And so in this whole theme of readiness, 
we have to take into, consider, into consideration the, the whole gamut of, the, of how things have developed. So it is not just a matter of illness. It's not just a matter of old age. It's a matter now of something that can happen anytime to any one of us. And so, are you prepared? And am I prepared? That's difficult to answer. Because even those whom we think are very well prepared may not think that they are prepared. But what can we do to prepare ourselves? What can we do? How do we examine ourselves to find out if we are doing what we are meant to do? And what we are meant to do is not something that is beyond us. It is not something that is beyond us. It is something that is within our reach. It is something that is possible. Are we living right with each other? Brothers, sisters, cousins, friends, neighbors. Do we care for each other as we ought to? Do we love each other? Do we truly love? Even at home, how do we express that love? Can we say that we actually take a stance in life for that it is which is right, for that which is good, or, just we, or we just allow things to go, things to just take, um, to, to happen, to just take place? Let us begin to think of those things because we don't have a Jesus right now who to call in, in the flesh and, to, and to, to have him, you know, bring us back to life in, as in the case of Jesus. He's present in a different way. And it can still happen because all things are possible with God. But instead of thinking of those things, we need to think of where are we right now? What is the state of our spiritual life? Our relationship with God. And if God had to call us right now, would we be prepared? What would be our destination? Would our destination be with God? Or would it be some, someone else or something else? Let us pray for the souls of our brother and sister that God may find them worthy and welcome them into his kingdom. But let us pray also for all of us who shed their lives, who mourn their death, that God will reveal to, to us our true purpose in, purpose in life and give us the grace to live lives that are worthy of him. Amen.
members of the family with prayers. Can you please do the prayer? My dear friends, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. Our response, O oh Lord, hear us, we pray. baptism, Jules and Elmina received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead them over the waters of death. Lord, hear us. Our brother and sister will nourish at the table of the Savior. Welcome them into the halls of the heavenly banquets. Lord, hear us. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. Lord, hear us. Many people die by famine by war and violence each day. We ask you to show your mercy to those who suffer so, so unjustly these sins against your love and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, hear us. Oh Lord, hear us, we pray. Oh Lord, Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all those whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, hear us. Oh Lord, hear us, we pray. Oh Lord, give us your love. The family and friends of our dear brother and sister seek comfort and consolation, heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Help us to live in the hope of the resurrection. Lord, hear us. Oh Lord, hear us, we pray. Oh Lord, give us your love. Let us pray for all those who are sick, especially those who are terminally ill. We pray for those who are critical, those, Lord, who you are ready to call home. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will prepare every soul that you're calling to you and will prepare the hearts of their loved ones so that they will be able to understand your love. Lord, hear us. Oh, Lord, hear us, we pray. Oh, Lord, give us your love. 
for all of us assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our brother and sister. Strengthen our hope so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. Lord, hear us. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The four witnesses, can you please join Father at the table? The four witnesses, please join Father at the table. And during the signing, we sing, Go Light Your Candle. Take your candle. 
Now, let us pray as Christ the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. us and lead us not, not into, into temptation. temptation but deliver us from evil. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother and sister. May our farewell express our affection for them. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet them again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death. Yourself. We now join in singing Amazing Grace.
we shall respond, receive their soul, and present them to God the Most High. Sense of God, come to their aid, hasten to meet them, angels of the Lord. Receive the soul and present them to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive the soul and present them to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. Receive the soul and present them to God the Most High. Prayer of Commendation. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother and sister, Jules and Emino, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, they will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Jules and Emino in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn to us, us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servants and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brothers, brother and sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace, let us take our brother and sister to their place of rest. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. The family of Jules and Elmina Alfred wishes to acknowledge with deep appreciation the many expressions of love concern and kindness showed to them during the time of bereavement. May God bless and keep you all. Thank you very much. Please um, do not leave none of your belongings in church. Remember to collect them, the ribs and everything. Thank you. Uh, now we join in singing. Goodbye, world.
because we have two bodies, we are going to do some of the prayers here. And after the first part of the prayer, I will go across to the other In the peace of Christ, may the Lord now welcome her to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist her with our prayer. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we human be reunited one day with our sister. Together, may we meet Christ Jesus when he, who is our life, appears in glory. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection, even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our sister may sleep here in peace until you are waking her to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then she will see you face to face, and in your light will see light, and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. can leave and you can come back when we finish because you are disturbing the ceremony we are burying a Christian not a pagan and if you are a pagan you stay out our response shall be Lord have mercy. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Emina and dry the tears of those who weep. We pray to the Lord. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us 
in our sorrow. We pray to the Lord. You raise the dead to life. Give to our sister eternal life. We pray to the Lord. You promised paradise to the repentant thief. Bring Emina to the joys of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Our sister was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your sins. We pray to the Lord. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Femina. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. We pray to the Lord. Concluding prayer. God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant, Emina. Do not count her deeds against her, for in her heart she desired to do your will. As her faith united her to your people on earth, so may your mercy join for her to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer over the people. By your hands, for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let the best of life shine upon her. May she rest in peace. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen.